What's up, guitar lovers? If you're watching this lesson, probably you have just uh, got hold of a guitar and it's probably your first time you haven't learned to play anything and you want to get started. So, I'm going to try and give you a very quick start. So, first things first, I need to tell you what is the nomenclature on this beautiful baby that we have here. There is classical guitars and then there is steel string guitars. This one that I have right here is a steel string guitar. Classical guitars, they come with nylon strings and the headstock is a little bit different from this one right here. Right, so the nomenclature that I'm talking about, I'm talking about the names of the parts of the guitar. This will help us in communicating whenever we're talking about uh, chords and how we play these, these babies. So first things first. We have the sound body, which is this big thing right here. This is called the sound body. And this is the sound board, the one on top right here. And then we have the strings, obviously. These are strings. They have names, which I will tell you shortly. And then we also have the bridge, which is this thing that is holding down the strings. Then we also have the neck. This whole part is the neck. And on the neck, we have the fretboard, which is that, which is on top of the neck with these little things that are called frets fret number one two three four five going down like that and with the nut right here which is the beginning of the neck or rather the beginning of the fretboard that's the nut right there and then with the head stock which is this uh head which has machine heads on it typically on uh guitars which are six stringed you only have six machine heads some call them pegs but this one is a 12 string guitar which I have uh, reduced to be just a six string guitar. So basically these other ones don't really work. They're just there for deco. Yes, of course, with the sound hole right there. So these uh, words that I just gave you are going to help us communicate when we talk about the guitar. So let me go down to the string. Right, there's one thing that I want you to really uh, take note of. These strings are named like that according to the standard tuning or the E standard tuning. Otherwise, you can always tune your guitar to the tuning that you want and play it the way you want. But for the sake of these lessons and for the sake of the chord that I'm going to teach you, you need to tune your guitar into this E standard tuning. So this is E2, A2, D3, G3, B3, and E4. It will also make sense as you start tuning. So before you play your guitar, you need to be able to tune it. So you cannot play it when it's tuned in any other way if you're going to be playing the chord that I'm going to be teaching you here. You need to tune it in the same way that I've tuned mine so that you can be able to play. So I know most of the times when uh, guitar players hold a guitar for the first time, trying to get the notes right, trying to tune the guitar to the exact notes just using your ear can be really, 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 really hard, especially if you haven't held any instrument or played any instrument before. So what I've done for you guys is I've put down some frequencies that you can use to tune your guitar but first you need to download an application called G strings on Google Play this application I've used it for a very long time and it helps you tune your guitar very easily it gives you a meter that shows you where you're tuning to where you're supposed to tune to and uh, it, it turns into white or green when you get to the right note with the note that I just gave you that these strings are called E2 uh, A2 and going down like that with that tuner You'll be able to just see those notes as you go down but however like i said it's really hard for a beginner to pick up those notes frequencies are going to help you for example e2 is at a frequency 82.4 hertz so that means that whenever you're trying to tune your e2 you just tune to 82.4 hertz that means if you try and play it on that uh guitar tuner if it's less than 82.4 that means that you're going to just tune it up until you get 82.4 if it's more than that you tune it down until it gets 82.4 and the good thing about that tuner it shows you when you get to that point it turns green or white so before you tune your guitar just make sure that that tuner is tuned to auto there's a little lock padlock item that 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 you unlock so that it's on auto and then you tune your guitar so I'll write down all the frequencies for you so that you can use those frequencies to tune your guitar with ease. One last thing to note when you're tuning your guitar, make sure that the string that you are turning is exactly the string that you're playing. Most of the time people turn the wrong string and they end up snapping strings. So just trace your string and see where exactly it is and start tuning that one, right? So positive and then negative. Positive and then negative. Like that. So, tuning out of our way, I know you guys already want to play something. 
So I'm going to give you some very, 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 very simple chords. I won't mention the names because they might really disturb you right now. What you simply need to know is take your fingers here. Pinky goes on fret number three, string number one, like that. Then first finger goes on fret number three, string number two, like that. And then third finger goes on string number six, fret number three, like that. And then third finger goes on string number five, fret number two. And you play that chord like that. Let's call that chord one. Then the next chord, you're going to keep these fingers right there where they are. And then um, you lower these two fingers by a string each going downward. That means this one goes to string number five. And this one goes to string number four like that. And then you play that. Make sure that you're not playing this one. You're just playing these like that. What this hand is doing here, it's just stroking up and down, stroking up and down like that. But for beginners, I know probably could be a little bit hard, so you can just be stroking down like that. The first chord was a one. This chord is now a four. And then the last chord is a five, which is held like this, right? What you do is release this like that, and then you lower the third uh, finger by one string going down like that and you play starting from the fourth string going down That's your chord number five. I'll explain to you why we came from one to four to five a little bit later But for now, I just want you to know that's your one. That's your four and that's your five, right? So going back the first chord said pinky comes on fret number three String number one, first finger, fret number three, string number two, uh, second finger, string number six, fret number three, then third finger, string number five, fret number two, and then you play, that's your one. And then your four, you just lower these two fingers by one string each, like that. And that becomes your new chord, which is chord number four. These ones are not moving, by the way. And then you release this totally, boom. And then you lower that one, finger number three, by just a string which goes right there. And then you play from string number four. Like that. So now, the pattern that I want you to learn is one, four, and five. It sounds like this. One, you're going to play your chord, every chord here four times, except for the fifth one you're going to play eight times so one two three four 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 simple it is i hope that you managed to pick up something from this lesson so for more lessons just make sure that you subscribe to our channel and make sure that you also join our group if you can you can ask me questions directly and i can try to answer you the best way that i can i hope that you enjoyed this lesson signing out boom